Hi friends, G. Krishnan from Melbourne. I am right now at Richmond Metro Station, going towards Caulfield, where we are staying. This metro station, Richmond, is not far away from the MCG, where India defeated Zimbabwe by 71 runs in their last league match of Super 12. India were powered to a good total by none other than Surya Kumar Yadav, who is now the number one ranked batsman in T20s. So India, after this win, will play England in the second semi-final in Adelaide on Thursday. In the first semi-final, New Zealand, who topped Group 1, will play Pakistan, who earlier in the day in Adelaide had an easy victory against Bangladesh. But the day saw one of the greatest upsets in the World Cup T20 World Cup history with Netherlands ranked 17th in the world sending South Africa out of the tournament. They beat South Africa by 13 runs in Adelaide in the first match of the day. So with me are G. Vishwanath and S.S. Ramaswamy to discuss what went wrong with South Africa in their match against the Netherlands and how easy it was for India against Zimbabwe. Sir, uh, India are through to the semi-finals, there was no doubt about it. What is your take? Well, India entered the semi-finals even before stepping onto the field because South Africa were knocked out by the Netherlands, uh, which was one of the biggest upsets in the ICC uh, cricket tournament history. Uh, but such is, uh, in this tournament itself there have been upsets. But this was a crucial game and South Africa had to win this match to enter the semis. But they fell short. They are all mostly called the chokers. Whether it was choking because of choking or some other reason, they were not up to the mark today. In both batting and bowling, which their coach Mark Boucher has acknowledged. The elimination of South Africa paved the way for Pakistan to join India in the last four as the number two team from group two. Pakistan beat Bangladesh to book their birth. But India thrashed Zimbabwe today by 71 runs. It was an outstanding performance by Surya Kumar Yadav, who hit all around the park and played some audacious shots. The scoop shot, the pull shot from outside the off stump to fast bowlers. I, couldn't get anything wrong today. So India scored a total which was simply too much for the Zimbabwe batsmen to chase. And they were 31, uh, 31 for 4 and 36 for 5. Uh, the, the match ended there. Uh, even though there was a partnership of 60 between their, their top, uh, their best player Raza and uh, Ryan Ball. Try and burn. Yes. But once that partnership was broken, it was another smooth sailing for India. Now India is going to take on England, uh, who are a very good one day uh, T20 team, in the second semi final at Adelaide on November 10. SSR, uh, all along leading up to the to, to this day, the, the, the Sunday, the last day of the league match, mm -hmm. we were all saying about South Africa will have it easy against uh, Netherlands. Did people underestimate Netherlands? Probably. South Africa underestimated them probably. Or didn't play well. That's that's exactly what Mark Boucher said. Something went wrong today. And uh, they were not in their elements. GV, uh, Sunday saw two African nations playing in the World Cup. Zimbabwe lost, but the other African nation also lost. Was it a surprise for you? Uh, yes, it was indeed a surprise. The South African team has got rich legacy history of cricket, whereas Netherlands does not have it. They are a football playing nation, they are hockey playing nations. Yeah, absolutely, it's a stunning result, I would say. In fact, you know, uh, South Africa, in spite of having some fantastic big hitters like David Miller or so and all, uh, Quentin T. Cock and the uh, the three players, you know, could not take uh, South Africa past the finishing line. It was the most, uh, they would have been devastated. Uh, but uh, hats off to Netherlands for pulling off this victory. And the second match, if you go to see India, was expected to beat Zimbabwe. 
And as Ashwin said yesterday, they were they had to be very clinical, and he also said that no team is a pushover in this tournament. It's a World Cup stage, you know. Nobody uh, takes it any match uh, lightly, and they played well uh, in spite of uh, Rahul not able to get uh, KL Rahul not able to get a single in the first over. They still managed uh, 186. It was a fantastic showing actually, and mainly because you know, I would also give credit, credit to Rahul and Kohli for that second stitching that second. We get partnership when before, you know, it's uh, uh, Hardik Pandya and uh, Suri Kumar Yadav, brilliant, remarkable again, you know, they pulled up the 29 ball, 66, that completely must have, you know, finished uh, any interest or enthusiasm in the, in the, in the Zimbabwe team. And uh, their openers did not even get going, they were out for zeros. And uh, see, once a team knows they are out of the tournament, they are not going to be part of the next uh, stage of the tournament, which is the semi-finals, you know, the the tendency is to be uh, less enthusiastic. You don't you have the same energy levels to perform. And this was an Indian team; they were going out. You know, they are very near perfect. It was a very clinical performance. Uh, uh, the seamers, all the seamers, the four seamers got a wicket each. Some, some maybe uh, one got two. Then uh, Ashwin came into his zone. You know, put applied the pressure. Three wickets. For a finger spinner, it's always good four overs. I mean, we asked him, he said he will take the three wickets. Uh, and well, I, I think it's a clinical performance and uh, we are in India is into the semi-finals. Now where they will play England. What is it about South Africa and uh, exiting in such fashions in world uh, tournaments? I wouldn't say chokers. I don't know. Uh, the surface, I don't know. As uh, Rahul Dravid said, you know, it's something to do with the surface. The ball doesn't come. He can't go through with the shots. But all said and in spite of that, 158, they should have chased. So what next uh, for India against England? Uh, how England, difficult will it be? England is a very good side. You know, they have a captain in Josh Butler. They have you know, Ben Stokes is there. That, uh, Liam Livingston is there. All cut, cut out for this sort of a cricket. You know, T20 and uh, the equally good bowler Sam Curran with the five wickets. You know, it's going to be a, as Rahul Dravid said. It's going to be a different surface. The curators know how to make a surface. It could, it it should be helping a, a bit. You know, English bowlers they have they they always they are experts in moving the ball, and uh, India also knows it. Indian seamers are also good enough. You know, it's uh, so it's going to be a very very good contest because it will go to the wire. You know, both will try their hardest because uh, the prize for winning that match is the final, in which means uh, uh, a shot of uh, grabbing the trophy. South Africa uh, losing to Netherlands also gave uh, Pakistan a new lease of life, uh, isn't it? Absolutely, no two ways about it. You know, Pakistan was virtually this morning, before the ball was, for the first ball was bowled between South Africa and Netherlands, they were out of the tournament. And uh, they, they would thank, you know, Netherlands for pulling off this victory. And they themselves, you know, made sure, applied themselves to the task of beating Bangladesh. It was not an easy thing, you know, they applied them to the task and they won that match, got those two points. So it, it's all now uh, to the last three games of the tournament, the two semi-finals, one uh, Sydney, the other Adelaide where India is playing and then the back to MCG for the yeah, final. Yeah, if you, if you recall, you know, what uh, Ashwin said, uh, the question was asked to him about, you know, but next Sunday's match, he said he'll be very happy to be in the final. But then, you know, it's... Uh, this tournament has shown that it has been right from the warm-up games, you know, there has been some upset wins and all. But, you know, uh, they, have played, they have been, all the teams have been here in this country for about almost uh, three, more than three weeks or even a month or so. And uh, they will fancy their chances now. All four teams will fancy their chances, yeah. There you go, friends. Uh, you listened to G. Vishwanath saying uh, it, is, it is anybody from now on among the four teams remaining in the competition, India, Pakistan. New Zealand and England. We just we saw today in uh, MCG that India did not take Zimbabwe lightly at all. They did not make much changes just to give game time for the players who have not played earlier in the, to the tournament. They just made one change, bringing in Rishabh Pant for Dinesh Karthik, just because the reason given was that he did not get game time other than the Western Australia practice matches just before the warm-up games began. Like Rahul Ravid said, Rishabh Pant was to have played in the second warm-up game, but rain washed it out. So, 
India didn't take uh, Zimbabwe lightly and they went with full strength and the result was there for all to see. So until next time, thank you. Take care.